it's the uh, 31st of July. Uh, we've just got some hatchling plume basilisks. So we're just going to have a little look at these guys. They are extremely fast, even just out the egg. So you can see our one little baby here. I've just got them inside another container in case any of them run out. Because one that I got this morning ran behind the freezer extremely fast. This little guy seems pretty chilled for now. Okay, there we go. And then uh, here we've got a little one. Wouldn't be surprised if he comes running out the egg right now, but just want to try and show him to you. The focus on you. There we go. These little guys look like tiny dinosaurs. They're also known as the Jesus Christ lizard because they're able to run on the water so on their hind legs they've got an extremely long toe with a sort of fin piece that comes off of it and when they put that into onto the water and they force down an air bubble which actually gives them enough tension to run on the water they're very cool guys they can be tamed down but they're more of a display animal in a lot of insects and things like that so very nice for the guys who are looking to keep a pet reptile as a display animal especially in the western cape here in south africa we we're not allowed many lizards or bearded dragons or anything whereas these plume basilisks we can keep them i just put this little guy back can sleep away a little more and this egg's also just been cut this little guy hiding away in there and then here's the empty one so let me just gently remove this okay so here's our little baby You can see his little umbilical cord and all that. And those long little toes. And these guys, if they do lose their tail, they can regenerate the tail, but it doesn't look anything like the original. And uh, telling the difference between male and female when they're very young is extremely difficult. The males get that nice back and head crest they look really really cool so these guys will mostly be eating insects we give them a 5.0 UVB light so they can metabolize calcium and then obviously basking and things like infrared or heat emitters are really cool work very nicely for them so we're gonna pop him in with some of the other babies and then uh, we'll go have a look at what the adults look like Okay, so here's our plume basilisks on display. Uh, this is the enclosure, it's around two meters long, uh, by a meter deep, and about 1.2 high where they live. Got a nice little water feature and everything. I'm just... Okay, so here's our male. He's uh, Got all the nice pretty frill and everything. He's quite an old boy, he's about six years old or so now. Um, so the males are the pretty looking ones, and then the back here we've got one of the mommies. She's got a regenerated tail as you can see, she lost it uh, when she was quite young. Well a young adult, so it looks like with that when it's regrowth. Um, 
We've got a couple air plants, also bioactive substrate. Infrared on the side. And then at the top we've got some UVB tubes, exoterras, and a mega ray uh, UVB 160 watt bulb, which keeps them all happy. <laughs> it's giving me out here. Hey boy. Hey. So you can see they are a little jittery. We don't work with them too often. Damn it. But I can still, this is art with not spending much time with them as a baby. I don't work with them much at all, but I can actually pick him up. It's just that he's not going to sit totally still like a beardy. But then again, each one's got their own personality. So, and he's showing he's the boss here. Yeah? His head bobbing and all. Yep. <laughs> so these guys are from Latin America, South America. Let's see if I can show you his, his long toes. You can see the webbing. It just sticks off the edge of it there. So that's what captures the air pocket. Yep, that's right. <laughs> See, he's busy shedding a little bit around his mouth. And then we've got one of our other girls down here. I think this is Mommy. She's also going through a bit of a shed at the moment. What's this girl? Oh, she's a very keen feeder. <laughs> very awesome lizards. There's no food there for you now. We'll get her something now now. Yeah, so you don't need an enclosure quite the size of this if you've got a pair. About half of the size is more than adequate. But obviously the, the bigger space you can give the better. They're very, very cool lizards. <laughs> okay, he doesn't want to get played with today. Go. So, Yeah, we're just going to try and feed our crazy little beast easier. There we go. He's hungry. Whoa. Jesus. So quick. Yeah, so these guys are mostly feeding super worms. They also eat, obviously, mealworms. Yo, they love the mealworms. <laughs> that was Duran. <laughs> Didn't know I was making a movie. Okay, so we're going to start continuing the feeding, yeah? Oh, okay. He's very hungry today. Oopsie. Hey, boy. This crazy girl there. Come, crazy girl. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Mm. A lot of stuff getting in the way, yeah. Uh. Hey, boy.
<laughs> He's closing his eyes just to protect his eyes from anything. It's just... Oh, that's nice. Are we going to get a head bob from you now? Sometimes we'll give these guys um, like some fuzzy mice or even hopper mice. So that's just now and again. Then obviously roaches with different types of super, supers obviously which you're feeding now. Where are you going boy? Have a little bath. And then they will eat some sort of, uh, some fruits and things but a lot of the time we find that uh, they're not too interested. So we can get those extra supplements and things into uh, into the superworms and the roaches. We gut load them first and then we'll feed them away to these guys so they can carry on that good nutrition and everything. So you always got to look after your feeder insects so that you look after your other pets as well. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay. Here we have our dubia roaches. We're just giving them a dusting in calcium and vitamin D3. We'll also use other supplements and minerals and things for these guys. We'll just see if he's interested in a roach now. Gonna say no to one of these. You like another one, boy? So that's just a look into our flume basilisks. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, we've had them in this cage here for about three years now. Um, it's also got a waterproof coating or full resin, full coat on it. And it's held it very well. Um, and the nice thing about these cages is you can take them apart and put them together and flat pack them and everything, which is really cool. 